Riverside Regional Library, and I work for the University of Missouri Extension here in Jackson, but also there's extension offices all over the state of Missouri, so if you're not in Cape County, you might be in Scott County or Perry County, also, choose my plate. It's by the University of Missouri Extension. I work on a grant through the Family Nutrition Education Program, and I've been, I've come several, every month I come and see y'all, or you see me, um, and hopefully you're coming this time too and joined us every time. Um, so, everybody, we have had some horrible weather, but the sun's shining today. So, just a reminder that we've been inside, we hadn't been able to go outside. There's still, you can look, and it'll be in the comments, is the Leslie Sansone video, Walk Indoors. Um, you can get on YouTube or whatever. There is a 15-minute walk, so try, when you can't get up, and go for a walk. Try something inside. I mean, the last two weeks, we haven't been able to get out the front door. You couldn't go outside and walk. You couldn't go to the gym or anything. It's a good alternative when you're stuck at home. Get up. Put your pajamas on. I mean, you got your pajamas on, put your tennis shoes on. 15 minutes is one mile. There's even some more intense ones. Uh, to just try to get something. Now, today, I hope by the time this is filmed, it's getting sunshiny and getting nice so we can maybe get outside. Uh, so look at that comment. Also, on my phone, we have the Eating Smart Being Active app. It will also be in the comments. It has all kinds of delicious recipes. It has physical activities you can do. Also, every day there's one that you can try, but you can look at those. Also, what I really liked when I was doing my recipe and I was at the grocery store, you can hit shopping list and it tells you exactly what you need. So it's kind of handy. Oh, I forgot my shopping list. So it told me exactly what I needed. Uh, view shopping list. Also, when we're comparing foods, there's an there's part of it is uh, it tells how to compare foods and see the ounces. Uh, some really good recipes. I've just one after another. Um, I've tried so many of them, and today we're going to do a vegetable roll up, which is delicious. But today what we're going to talk about those three. Things that we need to avoid. Salt, sugar, and bad fats. Okay, so the first one, if we look at sodas, my favorite thing, and how much sugar you're getting in one soda in the different sizes. You know, I know we all love that soda, and you kind of get used to drinking it. Soda does not hydrate us. It dehydrates us. So, drinking a lot of sodas every day. I understand every once in a while, not that it's doing anything. I mean, helping you at all, It, but maybe you want it as a treat. But if you're drinking more than, you know, a few sodas a week, we really need to think about that. If you think about a soda, how much sugar that is, it goes on your teeth. You just think of, a soda can take the acid off the, a battery. It can, if you drop a penny in there, it takes, that's what that's doing to your teeth and even your guts, everything in there. Also, drinking a soda with a meal takes the nutrients out of the food. So, not a good idea. You're going by every day and getting a soda and just drinking soda. Like I said, it dehydrates you. So, when we look at soda and how much sugar is in a 12-ounce soda. This is it. This is 10 teaspoons of sugar in a can of soda. It's a lot of sugar. We look at it, and then when we look at a 20 ounce, we look at 28 grams of sugar. That's a lot of sugar right there. And then we look at a 32 ounce. 28, gram, uh, 28 teaspoons, this is teaspoons of sugar. It's a lot. And so then when you double it up, this right here is a 64 plus, you gotta get this one too, because that's how 
It's a cup and not and ten teaspoons right there. It's this size soda. So guys, I mean, if you're going every day, and sometimes what I do is I'm gonna get a soda. You can also get a water too to go with it, and that water tastes pretty good. And so then you're gonna drink your soda, but kind of alternate it with the water throughout the day. Um, it's a good way, and that water is really so good. It just tastes better, and there's something about drinking it in one of those cups, you're drinking it through a straw. So if you are drinking like just soda, and that's all you're drinking, you need to try to get some water in there. Also, um, skim milk or 100% juice. Now, with the juice, you're not just supposed to drink juice all day. You know, you need two fruits a day. 100% juice, or maybe alternate with that. Also, so if you're drinking, say, leeches all day long, maybe drink one, then have a bottle of water or a cup of water. You'll get used to it. Sometimes they're like, I just don't like the taste of water. You know, put some fruit in it. There's little packets you can add. Also, guys, everybody's like, well, I drink diet soda, so it's zero calories. It has a lot of other stuff in there that's not good for us. Soda doesn't only have sugar, it has salt, too. That's what does salt do? So when we talk about salt, so that's some places. Now, what does salt do for us? Of course, it gives us high blood pressure. A lot of salt. Ways to do that? Get rid of the salt sugar. There's plenty of salt already. You get plenty of salt without this. And you will eventually get used to it. Some people, before they even taste their food, they just add salt to it. So try getting rid of that salt sugar. Also, fast food has a lot of salt. Processed foods, that's how they keep them alive. Something like green beans in a can, frozen vegetables, that's how... They keep those foods. So if you're going to have a can of green beans, put them in a strainer and rinse some of that salt. Look on the labels. There's so many things. Lower in salt, no salt added. Uh, also, it will say no sugar added. Fresh fruits and vegetables do not have salt. They're not always readily available, but fresh fruits and vegetables, carrot sticks or something like that to crunch on uh, is a good you know, way to do that. Fast foods, guys, that's what they keep it. That's what makes it taste good is that salt shaker. Um, and also for process. So try to cut down. Also foods high in potassium, like bananas, help if you're eating a lot of salt. Melons, dried fruit, things high in potassium, help if you eat a lot of salt and help lower that blood pressure. But not a good thing to have high blood pressure, not a good thing. So try to get where that salt is not your main taste, okay? And all salt's the same. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna have some kosher salt. I'm gonna eat still salt. I find that that salt, you don't need as much when you get that salt shaker. So cutting that, okay? Then also fat. Yes, there are good fats and there are bad fats. The way, the best way to remember that those fats that are solid at room temperature. People like bacon grease isn't solid. It is when it's at room temperature. So you want to go for those that are solid at room temperature are the bad ones. And so that is the monounsaturated and the polyunsaturated are the good fats. So look in your cabinet. It's the easiest way to see those if they are not solid. So canola oil is good, peanut oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, sesame oil, soybean oil, and vegetable oil. Look in the cabinet. They're not solid at room temperature. Those are the good ones. Those that help. So what happens with fat? Fat clogs those arteries. And guys, even you young ones out there, you think, oh, I'm so young. Over time, it builds up. Some people say, I'm skinny. I need fat. Well, you need to pick the good fats because you that's what causes heart disease. And over time, it builds up for those valves. So that's what we need to choose is those that help those heart valves. They clear those out. 
not those trans and saturated fats like butter, lard, guys, I hate to tell y'all, coconut oil. Is it solid at room temperature? Yes, it is. I know it's a plant base and you think it's got to be good for you. Solid at room temperature. It's saturated fat. I hate to say that about con coconut oil. It's good for other stuff. They say it's good for your hair and your skin and other stuff. Coconut oil is solid. Is a saturated fat. I'm so surprised by that. Now, you put it in the skillet, it's not room temperature anymore. Okay? Palm oil and cocoa butter. Cocoa butter, I don't know about cocoa butter. I thought it was in suntan lotion. <laughs> suntan, <laughs> whatever that suntan, it smells like cocoa butter, but I guess people eat it. But it's not a good idea. It's saturated fat. And of course, short, shortening. And good old lord. Not so good, guys. Um, solid at room temperature. So that to me is the best way to remember that. Okay? So also, how do we watch foods? So like I said, fast food. Um, so watch those salad dressings. Watch that mayonnaise. How at those special sauces. You're gonna get a burger. I'm not saying a burger. It's not the greatest thing, but got to have a burger. Maybe instead of an order of fries, you know, have a salad. Or, you know, skip. Also, what's those special sauces? Better idea to add some vegetables to your burger, like tomatoes, lettuce, um, mustard, pickle. Compared to mayonnaise, salad dressings, watch those fatty salad dressings. It's amazing. They are just fat. How much? A couple tablespoons of of salad dressing is kind of ruins the salad. Um, if you go to a restaurant, you're gonna get a salad, get the dressing on the side. Of course, those mayonnaise based are worse. You know, get a low fat Italian. I just like to make my own and use olive oil, a little vinegar, and even put a little mustard in it, add some herbs to it to get flavor from other things besides fat. Also, those added salts, as I said, just try getting rid of that salt shaker, you know, and watch. Fruits and vegetables, crunchy carrot has no salt, stuff like that. Start snacking on stuff like that instead of chips and all that added stuff, even with sugar, pies, cakes, all that pre-mixed stuff. Try to cut down on that salt, sugar, and fat, okay? Those bad fats. So today... I am going to make a vegetable roll. These are, it's a vegetable pinwheel, which I already made some. I'm going to show you how I make them. I have it all pre-measured out. And I love those recipes that call for the same amount of certain things. So, I made these yesterday, and they said on these pinwheels to wrap them and cellophane, and so that's what I did, the plastic wrap that holds them better together. And so I did that, and then so when I sliced these up, they didn't squish out the side. Because I've done it and just tried cutting them up, so these are them cut, but it basically is softened cream cheese. And I pre-measured all this stuff, so it's two tablespoons, of softened cream cheese, two tablespoons of green chilies, two tablespoons of corn. You could use fresh corn. I use can. Rinse it off a little bit. Uh, two tablespoons of corn and two tablespoons of salsa. So that's what gets kind of squishy. So, uh, to me, the best thing, I put this cream cheese and I used a fork uh, to kind of, you know, get it. You can add all kinds of herbs, minced onions, chili powder. Now, it's a little spicy because of the green chilies. That's what kind of, you could use fresh. If you're a jalapeno person, you could put something like that. Um, if you have that homemade salsa. I just use salsa in a jar, and basically I did two. I used a whole, we've talked about whole grains, whole grain tortilla. 
Um, so I <coughs> had some of those. So you just basically match it up real good, stir it up. This makes three. Let's divide it into thirds, but I'm just going to make one. Just roll it up as tight as you can. See how it kind of squishes out the side? It's kind of liquidy. And you take that cellophane, wrap it around it, and here's what you get. Chill it and then slice them up like little pinwheels. And I said, they, that's, those green chilies give it a little kick. So maybe if you don't like the green chilies, you can put some sweet peppers. Uh, said chili powder, fresh cilantro you could put in there to give it more that Mexican. So it's another handy recipe that you can pick up here at one of your regional libraries. And as I said, once again, Look at that plate. Choose my plate. Half your plate should be fruits and vegetables. Right now, guys, it's getting ready to be where we can start our gardens and all that. Right now, we're pretty dependent on, you know, fresh, I mean, not fresh, but stuff at the store. So try to choose those better choices and look kind of what's in season. Pretty soon, I will get some fresh stuff. So see y'all later.